Hi everybody, this is Chelsea Lindy. I am here with Modern Salon this weekend. I am a stylist in Sarasota, Florida with Cutting Loose and I'm so excited to be here in New York at Intercoiffure Fall Atelier. I'm here with Chelsea James, stylist, salon owner, Naha winner, and color trophy finalist. I was so inspired by the presentation that you just gave to all the attendees. And look at these beautiful models. Can you just give us a little bit of your journey to how you've gotten to where you are here today? Sure. Do you want it about this presentation or full journey? Whatever you want. Whatever okay, cool. You want. Look, I mean, look at this. Like, who yeah, so we'll, we'll start out with that. I yeah. think uh, I've got What's a pretty long journey. Um, so this one, this look is obviously more avant-garde, super editorial, and it was inspired. I was asked to do a presentation at L'Oreal Professional Business Forum last week in Spain, and I'm obsessed with connection. So everything that makes my heart pound is uh, just to connect with others. Anything that I do, it really doesn't matter if I don't have connection. So. Within designing the looks for it, um, we, I used a Rick Rack technique and I just basically, inside of a U-pin, you do the infinity symbol, which is like always and forever connecting everything. And then we did the same thing, like knotting it through the mohawk section in the top. Um, and then to tie it in, it was a global event. And so I chose to use the color yellow um, for sh yarn and I tied it around her head twice to kind of get the pitch of these little wings. Um, yellow universally is like happy. Yeah. Um, so I just thought that would connect everybody and bring them together. And that's what created this inspiration. And this was uh, inspired by the color trophy look. And it's just a juxtaposition between hard and soft. Um, I'm, I love texture. I'm a texture ditty I'm about it, about that life. <laughs> So yeah, we, it's an undercut basically, and, and the pieces fall over. We use straws, it's something interesting, and I think with social straws. media. How many, how many straws do you think you used? Uh, at least 50, at least 50. Mm -hmm. And it's really <laughs> fun. So it's all about keeping uh, the technique fat, yeah. and heating it up, and then when you let it out, it's just dead sexy. <laughs> yeah, it's I pretty versatile. It. It's so much fun, and it just looks so great on, mm -hmm. on her skin tone, her eyes. Um, who do you attribute some of your successes to? Who have been your mentors along the way? Gosh, I've had so many mentors. Uh, Ruth Roche has been a huge inspiration for me. Um, Vivian McKinder, James Morrison. Um, uh, the list is so long, so long. Um, but as far as like editorial avant-garde styling, um, Ghislaine uh, Martel this weekend at LBPF literally blew my mind like she took it to the next level and so that's those are the things that I inspire to do and maybe be yeah yeah, yeah. so where do you gain most of your inspiration from I am obsessed with trend forecasting yeah. but inside of like concepts so I think as hairdressers we have a really intimate opportunity with our clients so we understand like the pulse of the consciousness yeah. happening yeah. right so whether I, I take a concept like overstimulation and do something really textured or I take a concept like connection um, and create my looks from that mm -hmm. uh, that's the stuff that excites me um, so I love to look about the trends and see what's happening but I love trend forecasting and, yeah. and really looking at like what is happening that can maybe start a greater conversation with whoever I'm talking to, yeah. right? And deeper things that mean stuff. Absolutely. I love that you're so relevant, but yet at the same time, you're also creating trends going forward and opening up ideas for your clients and for models and um, to do something a little bit out of the box, which is great. So what's yeah. next for you? Um, well, I'm doing a lot of things with that. So any collection that we build, any any stuff that I do, I like to like make a blog about it, which will start deeper conversations um, and, and has allowed me to really make a community with hairdressers. Um, so that's exciting. I've got a Naha shoot coming up, um, tons of academy classes with L'Oreal, tons of in-salon classes. I'm in salon almost every, or in a, in a new salon almost every weekend with the brand and then just building Forma Collective, our salon and our unity and our love. 
So yeah, I'm just going to keep working and making weird content and yummy videos and <laughs> try to keep it fresh, you know? <laughs> I love it. Well, Chelsea, thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your story and your journey with us. It's definitely one that is inspiring to all of us. So. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And you have a really great name. Thank you. I, I think so, too. I, awesome. I like your name. Uh, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> cool.